What's going on, gang? It's your boy, the Bearded Comic Bro, and I'm back from another Comic-Con, which means it's time for a Comic-Con haul. So if you want to see all the stuff I got at Fantasticon in Toledo, stick around. So, gang, if you've watched these haul videos, you know I love meeting creators and getting their autographs. This being a smaller con, uh, there weren't a lot of creators where I needed their autographs or wanted their autographs. But there were two that I was super pumped to get to meet. And, gang, up first, I got to meet the writer of my favorite comic book series as a kid and the creator, co-creator of my favorite Green Lantern. That's right, gang. I got to meet Ron Mars, so I had him sign my amalgam book right there. Uh, we got Dan Jurgens there, and then Joe Rubenstein right there. You gotta love some amalgam goodness. Ron Mars, um, I've had him on the show. He was a delight to talk to in person. I also picked up the Doctor Strange Fate issue, because if you've watched my interview with him, you know he said like this was one. He's like, I need to write this. And so I was like, man, it's only fitting that I got him to sign that amalgam book. And gang, you know I'm not going to go meet Ron Mars and not have him sign my first appearance of Kyle Rayner. Right? We got Daryl Banks right there, and we got Ron Mars with Hal Jordan shouting out Ron. So good. But gang, you're in for a treat, because I'm going to show off probably one of my favorite pieces um, that I got at the con. Well, I had it, but I got signed at the con. And this is my Kyle Rayner, signed by Daryl Banks back in 2019. And now we got Ron Mars' signature right there in 2023. All good things come to those who wait. Uh, this is just so cool. It displays so nicely um, here in my comic room. And who was right beside Ron Mars? None other than Tim Seeley. Gang, this was so cool. Uh, I've met him at cons before. He's always been a delight to talk with. But I really, really loved issue number one of Local Man. And so I had to get Tim to sign that. Look at that. It looks so good. One of the coolest signatures out there. Um, and I also, because I've always been wanting to read Hack Slash, I never did. I picked up his Omni of Hack Slash. Really excited to check out this story. If you guys have read it, what do you guys think? Uh, and then he did a really cool sketch in here for me, which I, I'll show you guys. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. Gang. Tim, uh, it was awesome. He was a real, like I said, great person to meet and talk with at the con. And then he also gave me these really cool freaking image comic cards of local man so we've got the characters there done in the 90s goodness style they've got the backs like gang this is so cool uh he's like man since you're a fan of the series here take these cards I was like, are you kidding me so i've got cross jack yeah and all the other characters from it man this is cool I realized I wasn't using my comic book display stand in the last couple sections, but I'm not going to reshoot it. It just, you see the pictures right there. It's all good. So this was a smaller con and which was fine because you had some of the creators there and then you had a good amount of comic book vendors. And there was one that was selling basically new comic books for a dollar. So I just would dive in and got this. This is the first issue off Josh Williamson's run on, uh, on Batman. And I just love the variant, so I got some of those. Um, gang, they had Vanish issue number one up there for a dollar. I love that series. So I got a couple of those. I'm like, I don't need them, but I got a couple because, you know, they're good for giveaways because this is a series you all need to be reading. Of course, another Berserker. Why not? I got the second printing of Resonant issue number one by David Andrew uh, over at uh, Vault Comics. Up next, we got a cover buy right here, gang. That's right. Wonder Woman Black and Gold. The art's done by Julian T Tio Tedesco. Something like that. I loved it. Um, it reminded me a lot of Amanda Connor style art. Uh, it was just, I was like, man, that's a really fun cover. A dollar, are you kidding me? Let's go. Up next, I got Kaya, issue number one. Uh, this is done by Wes Craig, who I'm a big fan of his stuff from Deadly Class. Uh, this was was one of those I didn't pick up when it came out, but people said you gotta check it out. So, again, you can't beat a dollar. And last but not least, we got issue number one of Old Dogs by Declan Shelby. Um, another series I wanted to check out. So, I wish I would have spent more time in this dollar bin because they're all new comic books that were a dollar, but I was just like, man, I don't need to spend this much. But I should have because it was a dollar. <sighs> the struggle of a con gang, the struggle. 
Is it a Comic Con haul video of mine? If I don't show off some Batman, gang, 212, that's a nice 12 center right there. You know I'm trying to hit that from 200 up to 713 of Batman Volume 1. So I got that one. I added 221 to mine. And of course, I got 230. So I am slowly chipping away. I got like, I think, 30 more in the 200 range. And then I will have every Batman Volume 1 book from 200 all the way to currently right now in Volume 3. And then it gets down to the fun of trying to get some in the hundreds because I have, I probably have about 30 in the hundreds right now. But whoo, then we starting to get, it gets all pricey. So, but my goal is 200 and above because I can make that happen. And gang, got Batman and Robin, issue number one, the Grant Morrison run here. Uh this is the first introduction of Professor Pig. He was in a previous issue in the Batman Volume 1 run, um, but this is kind of like the new version of Professor Pig with the mask and everything. That, it's just that was cool. Uh, again, not like a big spec book or anything, but, you know, with Batman and Robin, you know, using Damien's character in the the movies coming forward. So, I mean, obviously, probably going to utilize a lot of Grant Morrison's runs. So I was like, I want to pick up and reread those runs and kind of just get familiar with it again. And I got the reintroduction of Kara zar -El. That's right. Issue number eight of Superman and Batman. Gotta love Michael Turner goodness. Uh, so I thought it was really cool. Um, it was one I don't have, and I figured I'd get it before it starts blowing up because of movie spec stuff i don't know i don't like spec i just want my books let's stop buying movie announcements stop making my books expensive to get and last but not least i got issue number one of deadly class this is the b cover it looks really good i've really gotten into deadly class doing the show on jp budget collecting's channel uh with gore and haley and jp and i've just falling in love with Deadly Class, and so I, I got this. I saw that it was a great deal um, for an issue number one. I know it's a B cover, so those don't go as much for the A cover. And then my next con look, I'm trying to find a 9-8 of issue number one of Deadly Class. I think I can do this. I'm going to C2E2 here in a couple weeks. I think I can do it, gang. That's my goal. So when I do my C2E2 haul video, we're going to see, did I get it? Did I get a 9-8 of Deadly Class issue number one? We'll find out. So, gang, that was a pile of stuff. I got a lot of things. Um, what was your favorite? And what cons are you going to this year? What, are you ex what cons are you excited for? And as always, hopefully you can find some time to curl up, grab a book, and nerd out. Peace.